What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. And today we have another special treat, conversation between an MS2 and a fourth-year undergrad going uh, applying to med school. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last video with uh, myself, uh, MS2 and MS1 conversation. Now we have MS2 and, we'll say, C4 for College 4. I'm not trying to explain Conversation. So this is Amy Lee. Amy? It's the YouTube nation, apparently. Uh, so, Amy, tell us a little about yourself. Where do you go? What do you major? What do you study? Yeah. Okay, um, I go to UCI Louder. as a fourth year. Louder! The, Louder. the nation wants to hear you, man! <laughs> I go to UCI, and um, I'm majoring in neurobiology. And what else? I don't yeah. know. Do you, are you minoring in something? I don't know. No, that's no. it. Where, where are we at? Is this your lab, Amy? <laughs> this is our research lab, by the way. We have like a little 40-hour incubation time, so good time to make a video, right? All right, so this is our lab. If you guys haven't seen a lab, mm -hmm. here's the shelf of the lab. That's our microwave, not for food, but yeah. All right, so let's start with the first. So we're going to have a conversation. We're going to have some questions. We're going to make a bunch of short videos. We'll have links over Amy's head to take you to the next video, and uh, let's get started. So what's, what's, what's the first thing that's on your mind, Amy? Okay, the first question is, how would you go about... Do you have to look down and read it? <laughs> you need to look casual. I'm not going to cut. You're not cutting this out, by the way. But it's, it's, not, it's not a TV show. Come on. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. it's pretty casual. I'm not going to cut this out. Go ahead. All right. Um, First question. How would you go about preparing for the application process for this upcoming... Um, application cycle? Yeah. That, per, uh, that, that's a hard question, man. So like, how would you go about preparing, man? you got to start early, right? Uh, so when, when did you start preparing? Like, When did you start thinking, you know what, I'm going to go to medical school? Me? Yeah. No, no. The person to the right of no. There's only me and you here. Yeah. <laughs> when did you start thinking about? Um, you know, I'm thinking about going to med school. I gotta probably start thinking about the application process. When did I start um, thinking about? I started planning around like my first year. I started seeing the um, academic counselors um, every quarter, trying to plan out like a timeline. Sure. And I figured that it would be best to start getting to know your professors for letters of rep, and to probably start. Thinking about the details of the application um, as soon as I finish the MCAT. Sure. Uh, yeah, so that first part, I mean, I think um, a lot of people really want a timeline. It's like that one book, uh, the MSAR, like yeah. the Medical School Admissions Requirement. Uh, it's published by the AMC. Uh, you can probably buy that book, it's like 25 bucks. And the very first page of that book, I remember, is a timeline. And where it says, like, what to do exactly. each, all four years <laughs> of college. You don't, I, mean, I, I didn't follow the timeline, but I, I followed it pretty closely. Uh, so I think that timeline thing is really key because um, getting yourself ready for the application is more than just, like, spending a month preparing for it. It's kind of a couple-year pursuit that mm -hmm. you start doing activities that you kind of plan that you like, but, you know, you can also put in the application. Mm -hmm. uh, you start to get key. You get to know your professors because you know you're going to need to put letters of recommendation on your application. You start thinking about, you know, I gotta do well in the MCAT, you gotta do well in school, your grades go on there, every single class, every single score you ever got, uh, your MCAT's on there. Um, there's 15 activities now, right? Is it 15? Yeah, 15. Uh, three, I think, like, top, that's a new rule. It's like, you gotta pick the top three activities. But you didn't know this, yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. No, I, know. I was like a year or two ago, like, and during my cycle, it was just like, tell us 15 things you did, blew up, write a little paragraph. Now it's like, tell us 15. Write a small paragraph, but three of those 15, you can write, like, a bigger paragraph, like your most important activities. So you start thinking about those and, like, kind of organizing them in your mind as the time goes on. So I think it's an, you need to start a bit early. Um, if you're, like, a third year in college and thinking, man, I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm thinking going to med school, it's not too late. Whenever you start thinking about it, it's whenever you start thinking about it. But um, think early and just ask, like, a senior or someone who is applying to med school and just ask to look at the AMCAS. I did that. It was really nice. Um, just seeing what's on there, you can kind of start mentally preparing for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your question? I already forgot. Oh, it was just how to how start to prepare. preparing. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you, that's the key. So once you look at the application, you know what's on there, and you know what they kind of want to see. So the grade is like, a, the grades that you have are like a huge portion of the application. So probably doing good in school is probably a good idea, right? MCAT's on there. Probably a good idea. Those things are in your complete control. Study, it's on the application. Uh, there's 15 activities. Probably a good time to start telling yourself, I should start doing stuff, medical related and not, uh, volunteering, doing research, like here. Um, I don't know, whatever the hell people do in their activities, you should probably start doing some stuff because you know you're going to have to write about them. Um, shadowing, um, doing abroad things, whatever. Uh, what else is on there? Personal statement. Oh, don't forget the most important thing of all. That's, that's the most important thing on the application, aside from grades and MCAT, 
you got to write a, it's like a one page single space, fills up about 80% of the page. I don't know, there's a, a character limit, yeah. but it's, it's like about 5,300. Something like that, yeah. Um, so you need to start thinking about the personal statement. It's very important. Um, they're fun to read if you write a good one. And it's, you're pretty much telling medical school, why do I want to become a physician? So if you kind of know you have to do that, you'll start thinking about the question as you go along, right? So what do you think of the personal statement? What kind of tips do you have for people who are, like, in the process of thinking about it or writing it? Or um, I think that um, a lot of, um, of the counselors that I talk to have stressed that it's important to talk about um, really why you want to do it and not just, like, not just, like, brag about yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's a really important thing is that you don't want to come off Really arrogant, but rather just tell a story. Mm-hmm. Um, I think those are some good tips. Yes, I think I think that the one about don't brag. Um, the way I was taught about that is don't make your personal statement a laundry list of the things you've done, because on the AMCAS we have 15 activities, so we know the things you've done. Don't just repeat them again on the personal statement. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've actually read some like personal statement people sent to me to like edit for them, like you know, read through and get mm-hmm. feedback. A lot of people did that, like, you know, when I was volunteering here, I, I learned this. When I was volunteering there, I learned that. I'm like, yeah, you're just reciting your activities. Yeah. Telling a story, man, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I told a story, and if it's, if it's a cool story you can write, people are going to read it. It's, it's going to be fun to read. But if it's boring, it's just going to get skimmed and next. You know? mm-hmm. So make it interesting. Don't, don't make it boring. But that's the thing, the whole application. There's, like, the first few pages is, like, who are you? What's your name? What's your address? Really boring logistics. Activities, grades, MCAT, personal statement, and all the medical schools that you send to. Picking medical schools. We should make a video about picking medical schools. If you want to see a video about how to know which medical schools to pick to, click above here the link over Amy's head. All right, so here's the end of our first video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as always, guys, enjoy your studies. That's my